I'm Ginger Al. Welcome to my channel. For those of you that uh, are visiting for the first time, please consider subscribing and dinging the bell and I'll keep you up to date for any future releases. And to those of you um, that keep coming back, thank you very much. Your support is very much appreciated. Okay, so I often get asked um, how I prepare for an ultra marathon and kit I need, that sort of thing. So, um, just to answer a few questions really is, um, right, so how I prepare for an ultra marathon is I make sure that I follow a good training plan. Um, so within this training plan, it'll have increments, so and it'll increase um, sort of 10% uh, each week. And then I'll also factor in long back-to-back -back runs at the weekends. So I'll say for instance, um, you know, further into the plan, I may do a 30 miler and then the day after I'll do a 20 miler just so I'm getting used to being on, on my feet. Um, this I'd only predominantly do for a 50 miler upwards um, and then or for, for a 50k I perhaps um, rely on uh, my marathon training for that um, but I have a if anybody wants a 50k program um, and I, I've already achieved a good base level of uh, reaching a half marathon um, then please um, message me or email and, and I'm more than happy to send that over to you uh, my training plan and likewise if anybody is, wants a 50 mile training plan um, and you've already achieved a marathon distance or very close to it uh, again uh, drop me a message and I'll send you my uh, 50 mile plan uh, yeah as I say so to prepare yourself for it it's not just about time on your feet you have to prepare yourself mentally. Uh, you are going to go through some massive highs and massive lows do during the run as well. So you've got to, within that time that, as well, you've got to practice um, nutrition, what you take in on the day. Gels are not going to cut it alone. Um, they, they just will not give you the, the calories that you need for, your, for what you're going to burn off. So practice uh, taking in um, solid foods, or um, the, there's other things out there like um, uh, Merton's um, Tailwind, you know, all very good stuff. Um, again, I'll, I'll put some uh, some links below. So definitely practice, guys. You have to practice, practice, practice with it. Some things will work for others, which won't work for you. So you've got to practice, you know. So you, you've got to make sure you get out there and, and, and put it, put everything together. Um, so kit as well. Um, make sure that you've got a uh, half decent kit that's going to withstand your training and withstand the actual race event itself. Um, you know, so you're looking at your vest, your vest as well. Um, the vest I use is the Ultimate Distance uh, 4.0, the uh, mountain ma mountain marathon uh, kit. Um, there's loads of kits out there. You know, you've got brands like from Salomon. Um, you even got some of the cheaper brands which are coming up now from Kalenji. Um, Aong, uh, they're all pretty good to be fair. Um, before I got my ultimate distance, I had an Aong. Um, I still got that as a backup, and um, that's lasted me 18 months. And there's actually no sign of any wear in there, so I would rec recommend them. But perhaps go for a larger one, like a 10 litre one, if you're going to be doing a um, 50, 50 miler. So you need to keep your your waterproofs in there, your mandatory kit, your food, your your nutrition, um, your gels. Um, toilet roll, all the stuff really that you're going to need uh, along the way, mobile phone, um, spare batteries for, for your head torch, that sort of thing. Uh, but um, if you have a look at the link above, that, that'll tell you how to pack your kit, pack your vest. Uh, that's from a pre previous video, so I won't go through that too much. Um, the next thing I would say is get a decent pair of trail trainers if you're predominantly going to be on trail, um, and then obviously if you're going to be covering a lot of um, sort of tarmac then a decent cushioning uh, comfort comfortable pair of uh, road trainers some marathons you'll have a you'll be able to have a drop bag um, i would always say put spare socks spare spare trainers in there um you know because just just by that change of socks change of shoes um it gives you a massive boost when, when you when you're doing an ultra marathon i can't emphasize enough how much that, that'll give you a massive boost um so the trail trainers that i use I've tried many. I've tried um, La Sportiva, um, the Mutants, 
they lasted about 200 miles before I had a blowout in them and the the forefront the cushioning on the forefront literally went to nothing and it was like I was running uh, barefoot um, I'm the kind of runner that needs a lot of cushioning um, I do suffer with my feet I've, I've got terribly flat feet so I do, do need some of a bit of cushioning um, I've tried the New Balance Hero uh, Hero 4 I think they were 4.0 uh, they were very good still using them now I'm, I'm rotating those uh, my favorite pair of trainers to date are the Speed Goat Hocker Speed Goat 2s. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of my recent video uh, on the 50k uh, St. Ilted Ultra. I had a blowout on both sides, so I have sent them back to Hocker just to just have a look just in case there's any um, any manufacturing flaws in there. Um, but they are super comfortable. I would have no bother uh, going to buy another pair tomorrow. Uh, they are absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm going to try the Hoka Speed Goat 3s. Um, I've ordered them, so I'm waiting for them to arrive any minute now, really. So, um, oh, that's the door, right on cue. How's that? Let's have a look. How was that for timing guys? That's fantastic, wasn't it? So here we go. Hocker Speed Goat 3s. Um, I'm told um, from the reviews that, that I've looked at that the uh, the tow box has been reinforced and it's been uh, made wider. Um, for those people that um, like a wider tow box, so this is a few mil um, extra in there. Um, personally, I have a quite narrow feet, so uh, they don't really pose me any problems, but I do like a wide toe box. It makes your feet your feet can breathe in them. Uh, I'm also told that the this is the 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 area, this is the area I had the blowout on my three go twos. I'm told that this is um, all uh, reinforced as well, and there's no stitching inside, so you're not really going to get uh, it's all sort of moulded. So you're not going to get any rubbing, any chafing, um, and any blisters. Um, as you can see, the soles. They they they're virtually identical. Um, they got the Vibram Mega Grip, really good across uh, across um, some of the the wetter uh, trails. And again, even if it's dry, some you know you just just glue to the uh, to the trail and then. So yeah, looking forward to giving those a go. Um, yeah, super chuffed now. They they've come on time. So pretty wicked. Uh, so that pretty much, guys. That that's how I would prepare for for the for the ultra marathon. So I'd make sure that I've done all my training prep. Um, and I picked a plan which is suitable for me. My nutrition's on point, and I tried it, practiced it, um, got the right kit. So I've tried and tested the um, the vest, putting the kit in there as well, and a decent pair of um, trainers as well, and which I've tried and tested. So I'm not going to turn up, pull pull them out of the box, and then go down and hit the hit the trails, and think I'm going to run an ultra marathon and be fine. Um, although trainers these days are built more robust they've they, you know they've engineered a lot better i dare say you probably could pull them out of the box and go for a, and, and go for a really long run in them and probably not have any problems but you would need to make sure that you've done some runs in them guys you've got to iron those out you know why leave it a chance um so that's it really guys that, that, that's how i prepare so like i said if you if you want any training plans leave it leave a, you know message me any your email and i'll uh, happy to send some stuff over um my next big um, ultramarathon is in October, so that's the, the Gower. So I'll be putting in plenty of uh, training runs up on up on the, the Welsh Hills before then. And I'll probably be doing some documenting some videos as well. Um, so thanks for coming along, guys. Um, if there's any other questions that you want answered, guys, please uh, message me. I'll be more than happy to, to put another video together and uh, take you through the journey and, and, and uh, answer them for you. So. Thanks for subscribing guys, thanks for coming back and I'll see you on the next one.